Hello, today we have some great tips for you for the month of September. Now is a good time to inspect your home and look for those cracks and crevices and seal them up, not only for energy conservation, but also to help keep those insects out that might be seeking shelter for this winter. Also, look in the garden centers and nurseries for, for fall specials. Fall is the best time to plant most of our ornamentals, trees, shrubs, perennials. This is a, a, an opportunity for them to establish a good root system as we move into the cooler, cooler months, and then they'll be well established for next growing season. Towards the latter part of the month, uh, it's a good time to start planting the cool season annuals as well, such as pansies the ornamental kale and cabbage and others that will be showing up in the garden. Again, they love the cooler weather and towards the end of September and through October is an excellent time to put those in the ground. We can continue to plant cool season vegetables as well, such as spinach, lettuce, radishes, rutabagas. These all have relatively quick germination times and mature quickly so you can enjoy a nice fall harvest. Also, if you've been maintaining tropical houseplants outdoors for the summer. Now's the time to help acclimate them to the lower light levels by moving them into shadier areas. This will help them to adjust to those lower light levels that they'll experience once they're moved indoors. Also be sure to inspect them carefully for insects and treat them if necessary. You don't want to bring those insects into the house as well. Now for the turf areas, this is going to be your last opportunity to fertilize your warm season grasses such as Bermuda grass. We really don't want to apply, apply any fertilizer past the middle of September to our warm season grasses. This is also the time, uh, especially the latter part of the month, when we will start seeing uh, weeds pop up, or winter weeds such as uh, um, dandelion. That, that, those will probably show up towards the end of the month. And it's also the best time to apply an, er an herbicide, a 2,4-D type or broadleaf type herbicide, to control those. And then if you need to uh, control those winter annual weeds, such as uh, henbit, chickweed, annual bluegrass, that needs to be done by the middle of September as well, by the second week of September, with a pre-emergence herbicide. Now, if you're going to establish any areas by seed this fall, be sure that you do not apply a pre-emergence herbicide to those areas. And then finally, this as we move into the fall, the latter part of September, uh, this is also the best time to establish a cool season grass. So even if you're overseeding an existing area or want to establish a new area with uh, the grasses such as tall fescue, Kentucky bluegrass, or ryegrass, that should be completed uh, the last two weeks of September. <music>